Spinning Spiders by Melvin Berger, illustrated by S.D. Schindler. Spider webs are everywhere. You find them high up on walls and windows, on lamps and lights, in dark corners. Sheds, barns, and garages are favorite places for spider webs. Outdoors, you find them on trees and plants, on swings and slides, on poles and fences, and even in the grass. New spider webs are beautiful patterns of thin threads. Old webs may be covered with dirt and dust. We call them cobwebs. There are more than 30,000 kinds of spiders. They can be small or large, fat or thin, short or long. Most are brown, gray, black, or other dull colors. But a few are as bright and colorful as the flowers. Most people confuse spiders and insects. Spiders are not insects. Spiders are arachnids. Some other well-known arachnids are mites, ticks, and scorpions. Arachnids differ from insects in a few ways. Arachnids have eight legs. Insects have six legs. Adult arachnids have no wings. Most adult insects have wings. Arachnid bodies have two main parts. Insect bodies have three main parts. Arachnids have no feelers or antenna. Insects have antenna. Spiders are the only arachnids that spin webs of silk threads. They make the silk with special organs at the end of the body. These organs are called spinnerets. Most kinds of spiders have six spinnerets. Some have four or two. A liquid comes out of the spinnerets. Outside the body, the liquid hardens into a solid thread of silk. The thread is very thin but it is very sticky. It is also stronger than a steel thread that size, and it can stretch. The silk thread can stretch to almost twice its length. Many spiders use the silk to make webs. The webs are to catch the insects they eat. If a fly buzzes too close to the spider web, it gets caught on the sticky threads. The fly tries to pull away. It flaps its wings, it kicks its feet, it wiggles and wriggles, but it cannot escape. It is stuck in the web's threads. Most spiders grab the fly with their two fangs. They wrap the fly's body with silk so that it cannot move. Then they inject a poison into the fly. The poison dissolves inside of the fly's body. Spiders do not have teeth. They can't chew. They can only drink. Once the fly's insides have turned to mush, the spider can slurp it up. A spider usually eats about one bug a week, and sometimes more. The web also helps the spider to get the food it needs. The web also protects the spider from its enemies. If an enemy touches the web, the spider feels it. It runs away to safety. Snakes, frogs, birds, and lizards love to eat spiders. So do wasps and other spiders. Spider webs come in all shapes and sizes. The webs may be neat or jumbled, flat or bowl-shaped, triangular or round. Each kind of web is different. 
The web of the common house spider is called a tangled web. The spider attaches long, loose threads. To a wall or window, a ceiling or corner, the bottom of a table or chair. Then the spider joins the thread together with more threads going in every direction. The grass spider usually spins a funnel web in tall grass or low bushes. It looks like a short, wide ice cream cone. The grass spider hides at the bottom of the cone. When an insect lands on the top part, the grass spider dashes up and grabs its meal. The platform spider weaves flat sheet webs in trees or shrubs. It spins separate threads above the sheet web. If a flying insect hits one of these threads, it falls into the sheet. The garden spider builds orb webs on tall grass or flowers. First, it weaves a strong thread on which to hang the web. Next, it spins the outside threads of the web. Then it adds threads that go out from the center like the spokes of a wheel. Finally, the spider connects the spokes with coils of st sticky silk. The ogre face spider carries its web with it. It hangs from a branch, holding the web in its front four legs. When an insect comes near, the ogre face spider catches it in the web. Not all spiders make webs. The boa spider spins a thread of silk with a sticky silk ball at the end. The spider swings the line at an insect. The insect gets stuck on the sticky ball of thread. The biggest spider of all doesn't need a web to catch its prey. The tarantula can be up to 10 inches across. That's as wide as a dinner plate. Because they are so large, tarantulas usually eat small birds, snakes, mice, frogs, and even fish, as well as insects. Tarantulas can live for about 20 years. Altogether, spiders eat millions of insects every day of the year. Many of these insects can harm or annoy people. In this way, spiders help us live better. Spiders are also food for many different birds, fish, and frogs. So if you see a spider, let it be. Spiders are an important part of life on Earth. The end.